Okay, so I have a bit of a, a BuzzFeed-like question scenario for you guys. I don't know, does anyone else like those, those surveys that they do on Facebook? Anyway, which of the following scenarios is worse? Number one, trying to blow your nose when you have a bright lip on. <laughs> Working from experience, I can tell you it wasn't fun. Number two, having to sneeze when you're putting on mascara. Or number three, having to pee really bad once you have put on like a bodysuit. Which of these is worse? None of them are fun. I don't wish them on anyone, but I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment, I wanna know. Intro Rachel needs to know. Hello everyone! I am here today to share with you guys my February favorites. It is already the end of February. We are two months into the new year. I don't know why I did it like this. This feels really weird. Does anyone like show a number sign like this? Feels awkward. I am excited because spring is just around the corner and if you're in Canada, that means like three months from now, but it's fine. That's closer than it was in December. You guys know the drill. I love favorites videos because it's always fun seeing what new products people have been testing and trying out and what works really well for them. So I find these really fun. If you guys like them as well, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first product I want to talk about is a primer. This is the Estee Lauder the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. Whoa, this like blurs out everything on your face. It's insane. A little bit goes a long way for this particular product. So you need the tiniest amount and then I sort of press it into the areas of my skin that I feel need the smoothing effect. So areas where I have a lot of pores or any like bumpiness. Like I have giant pores in this area. Like you could fit full on like families of, I don't know, ants that like live in there. Like I don't even want to apply this all over my face because I feel like it makes my skin look too fake, you know? So I just sort of apply it in the areas that I need to. It is very slippery and silicone-y though, so just keep that in mind. If you don't like those kinds of primers, you probably aren't gonna like this, but I love it. I think it is amazing. It sits well under all of my makeup and I am obsessed. Next up is a lip crayon that I was talking about earlier this month and I have not been able to put these down, guys. <gasps> They're so pretty. It is the Maybelline Color Drama by Color Show. It's their intense velvet lip crayon. And I have like a whole bunch of them now because I originally just tested out this one. It's like the coral one. And now I've been like slowly making my way through the other ones. The other one I haven't tried yet is the Very Much shade, but this beautiful nude shade is gorgeous for every day. I'm wearing the pink one on my lips right now. They glide really easily onto the lips. They're incredibly intense. And because it's also in a crayon form, I just find it's really easy to get a nice perfect line and filling it in and it doesn't take a lot of effort. So when I originally talked about these crayons because they were sent to me as a press sample, I was looking on the website to try and find them and I couldn't find them anywhere because originally I guess they had launched them ages ago and they relaunched them with a new formula. So we talked to their agency and it's launching February 28th, which is which is actually today. So Surprise! And they are also going to be limited edition. I think they're only keeping them in stores for about six weeks, so just keep that in mind as well. I'm not sure why they're launching them as limited edition. They're so good. So get, get your hands on them before they sell out because they're amazing. Now I wanna get into a couple of face masks because I have been on like a face mask binge lately. I've been trying so many different ones and I found a couple that I just, I'm so excited about because they work really, really well and they work just from the first application. And I know like not every mask is gonna work that way, but I I need instant results, people. So the first one I wanna talk about is by The Body Shop and it is their Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. And the reason that I like this is one, it smells amazing. It smells like honey, like really like good honey with like a mix of, you know what it smells like in like the body shop where it's like all like herby and nice and fancy smelling. Yeah, it smells like that. And the reason I love it so much is it gives you an instant plumping effect to the skin. So it just seems to erase any fine lines like temporarily, but like it fills them all in and it plumps up your skin and it makes it super duper soft. So what I normally do is I will apply this and then I'll go in the shower. I'll keep it on for like 10 minutes or whatever while I'm washing my hair and I'll get out and I'll wash it all off. Oh my goodness, like instant. I can see like my smile lines have completely faded, like any of this, like fine lines on my forehead, anything like that, it's crazy and your skin feels so nice and hydrated. Highly recommend this and it is just an incredible mask. The other mask that I've been enjoying isn't actually one mask, but it is a set of masks. And this is the Glam Glow Multi-Masking Set and it's a mix and match one of I think six of their different masks that they have and it's all in the little um, sample size and so you get to multi-mask and I've been really into that lately where you sort of target a particular mask to certain areas of your face because not often do you have your skin like 
all the same and everything needs hydration or everything needs an acne treatment and this allows you to be a lot more targeted with those treatments so what i will normally do is i will apply the green one which is the power mud sort of in the area where i have bigger pores i will apply the black one which is youth mud on the forehead and then i'll do like flash mud or gravity mud mud or something for the rest of my face and i'll let it sit and then you wash or you peel it all off and just your skin looks fabulous it's amazing plus it's also a great chance to try out a whole bunch of the different masks and then you can kind of decide which one you want to invest in one that you maybe really love or two that you really love or you can just keep buying this set and then you have like a whole bunch of different options to kind of target treat your face the one that I've been really enjoying is actually the green one um, that I talked about before I never tried that one I've talked about the other ones before and I think they're all amazing but this one in particular it's the power mud dual cleanse treatment and it is for detox it's a detox mask so I think that's why I really like it for the pore area because it seems to, I don't know, make them less noticeable. Like obviously you're always going to have pores on your face and that's natural and you should have pores on your face, but this seems to minimize how big they are and clean them out and it just feels really good on the skin. A little bit tingly, but nice. I like it. And yeah, overall, really enjoying this set. Now I wanna get into a setting spray. I also talked about this in my Sephora haul. This isn't a new formula, but it is new packaging. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I've been just, I've been using it a lot lately. I, I had it in my drawer. I had the older formula, or the, I guess it's the same formula, but the older packaging. I use it on occasion or when I'm going out and spending a whole day outside when it's really hot. But recently I've been using it like in excess, like a lot, like I feel like Nikki Tutorials when I spray it on my face, I'm just like. Like I'm not Nikki Tutorials. I wish I was Nikki Tutorials, but alas, I am not. But it sets everything in place. It removes a lot of the cakiness that you may be experiencing if you put a lot of foundation or concealer on. It sort of like pats all of the powder into your skin so it's a lot less um, powdery and cakey and crepey on your skin uh, and it also keeps all of the colors really impactful and vibrant all day long I've been really enjoying it and yeah definite fave of the month next is a perfume and I don't normally talk about perfumes because I tend to have the ones that are my favorites and then I don't really go outside of that but I saw this in my press sample stuff and I had to try it and I'm in love with it. It is such a beautiful scent um, for spring and summer. I think this is going to be a favorite of mine for a while. But it is by Tori Burch and it is the Love Relentlessly Perfume. And since I am terrible at describing perfumes, I'm going to go and look at the website and see what they say. So apparently it is a warm floral scent. I don't know what that means, but it smells really nice. It has pink pepper, rose, Boris and sandalwood in it. I have it on today and it's just very light and not too sweet, not too musky, that nice light going into spring kind of a scent. So if you get a chance, go and check it out at a, like a Sephora department store or something because it smells beautiful. Now onto a brush that I've been really enjoying and this is the Urban Decay Smoky Smudger E208. I don't think I've talked about this before in a favorites but I'm not actually sure. Probably should have checked that before. Doesn't matter, still a favorite. And the reason that I like this is it's nice and densely packed, but it's really, really easy to blend out. So what I've been using it for, and you can check out the tutorial that I did um, last week. I, did, I tested out a whole bunch of new makeup and I was using this a lot. If you are experiencing a double lid or a hooded lid or uneven lids in that way, this is really great because it gets really tight into those specific areas that you want to fill in and if you want any tips and tricks I will put the link to the video on the screen for you guys in case you're interested but I've been really liking it for that purpose or like smoking out underneath the eyes for a really dramatic look along the lash line into the crease whatever I've just been finding it to be a really great brush it isn't hard it isn't soft it's just that nice firm um, texture that I really enjoy in a brush and it's been a great addition to my brush collection and lastly is an eyeliner and this is by Marcel it's their velvet gel waterproof eyeliner the one that I have right here is deep navy I am also wearing currently on my tight line Where is it? dark chocolate also a gorgeous shade but I've been loving these on the tight line on the waterline because I find they don't budge at least not very easily I've yet to find one that is literally gonna last me all day and not blend out I was gonna say bleed out through the eyes <laughs> that sounds terrifying but you know what I mean like they just sort of like bunch up in the corners of your eyes or whatever like this these don't at all at least for a several hours probably I want to say close to five six hours that I've noticed that it has not smudged I wore them also in that video I was talking about where I was testing out a whole bunch of new makeup 
These are amazing. I've been really enjoying them. I think that they are a great formula. They're nice and smooth and buttery, but they don't transfer very easily. And for that reason, they are a definite favorite of mine this month. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love favorites videos. If you have any requests for future videos, leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing week so far and a great end to February. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.